you're also involved in a trial uh, involving plasma therapy, which really could help someone uh, like Yvonne. Tell us about this plasma therapy that could potentially help those with COVID-19. Right, so our, our, our medical center is bringing up a study, as many centers are across the United States. Um, the concept here is what we call convalescent plasma. Um, and, and what that means is that um, patients who develop the infection and then clear it on their own have developed antibodies that should allow someone else to then utilize to clear that infection as well. This is something that's been studied in other infectious diseases like in Ebola. And I believe many people are hopeful that this could be an opportunity for another therapy to help people clear this. We use the term passive immunization. When you don't have a vaccine that you can give to someone to allow them to develop antibodies in advance, then you attempt to utilize antibodies from people who have developed the infection and now cleared it to give those antibodies directly to um, another person who is in fact sick and infected. Right, and you've enrolled 15,000 healthcare workers in emergency department and COVID-19 units to participate in this, correct? So the, the HERO trial, which is the trial of the 15,000 healthcare workers, those frontline workers that we're all hearing about, um, is actually one that we are starting and rolling out um, as of April 22nd. And we will, and that is not the, that is not the convalescent plasma study. That is in fact a study where we are looking at a, a potential antiviral, uh, which is hydroxychloroquine. Um, as you know, again, this is a drug that has been used pretty extensively, both in China and, and many parts of Europe. It is being used currently off label in the United States. And I think we want to emphasize that, um, that it is very important that if this drug were used, because again, early on, we really only have Petri dish or test tube data. We have some human studies, or I should say human reports, but not controlled studies of the safety and efficacy of this. So what we are doing is doing a very large study, looking at the use of hydroxychloroquine and healthcare providers to prevent the infection. The way that this drug is used, if someone goes into a malaria endemic country, they'll use it for prophylaxis. We are looking to use it the same way to prevent it for our frontline workers in the setting of COVID-19. <clears throat> Well, that would be great if it if it yeah. works, and I, I think right. there's people have overstated it so far and made right. a run on it, and I, I hate that because right. this is an important drug for lupus patients, and right. it's made it hard for them to get sometimes. So, uh, hopefully, uh, people will listen and not go make a run on that and try to use it when it's really not necessary and it's not proven yet to be effective. So. Hopefully that won't happen.